While Pakistan leadership can be blamed for country's free-falling economic situation, no one can take away the credit from Islamabad for establishing sophisticated global terrorist headquarters and creating an ecosystem that has mastered the art of furthering propaganda. Right from its Prime Minister Imran Khan to the army of social media trolls it has employed are working overtime to spin an anti-India narrative on Kashmir. Today we'll show you how not only what it says is false, but also what the ground reality of Pakistan-occupied Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan is. A fact that its paid media has self-censored and its leaders have built their rhetoric around. These pictures are from Pakistan's Sheikhupura region in Punjab province where a banned Islamist group clashed with the police. Not to forget, this province is the powerhouse of the country from where most of the country's political influence is generated and army generals picked. A hardline Islamist group that was propped and strengthened by the very same leaders of the current dispensation has come to haunt them. Result, more radicalization, more violence and more deaths. And this is not an isolated incident of protests, but the report card of the Imran Khan government. And if this is the situation in Punjab, just think what the scenario would be like in the regions it has illegally occupied. The regions of POK and Gilgit, Baltistan. Exponentially proliferating terror camps, consistently diminishing human rights and a state-manufactured situation where people are more or less living a second-class life. And while international media has been successfully managed by Islamabad's propaganda machinery, the local wing doesn't even dare to think of showcasing their plight. From water to infrastructure to healthcare and inflation, a Kashmiri under illegal occupation of Pakistan has been reeling under all sorts of issues that fall under government jurisdiction. बिस्तर मरक पे सजक सजक के मरने पे मजबूर किया है और तुम मदीने की रियासत के नाम लेते हो लानत होनी चाहिए तुम्हारी शक्लों और तुम्हारी अकलों पे And not just their plights have not been brought to the international attention their struggle for freedom too has faced all forms of hindrances a recently organized anti-Pakistan protest outside the Pakistan High Commission in London to mark October 22nd as Black Day, the day on which in 1947 Pakistan occupied the region with brute force, didn't gather the attention it deserved. Activists highlighted through their speeches the human rights violations being carried out on a massive scale. Underscoring their right to self-determination, the activists said that they would not settle for anything less than complete independence. Today, we are Pakistan High Commission, we want to reach this message to the Pakistan people of Pakistan. We want to reach the 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 people of Pakistan. वहाँ के लोकल इंडस्ट्री को तबाह किया, आपने वहाँ के पानीयों का रुख मोड़ा और चाइना के साथ मिलकर आपने वहाँ पे गैर कानूनी तौर पर उनसे सरमाया कारी करवाई और उस हम आपसे ये मुतालबा करते हैं कि आप चाइना से की गई गैर कानूनी सरमाया कारी के जो खुफिया मायदे हैं वो सर वो सरेआम पर लाएं मंजरेआम उससे वाकिफ हो सके कि आपने किस तरह एक वकील बनकर रियासत जम्मू कश्मीर के बाशिंदों के पीठ पे छुरा गुंपा आप हमारे आजादी के असल दुश्मन हैं। And while this is the story of POK and its people, the other version of Pakistan is not just a complete lie, as the state of Jammu and Kashmir is not only witnessing a holistic development, but it is being subjected to Pak-sponsored terrorism too. 
A terrorist captured alive by security forces last month exposed the heinous and satanic agenda Pakistan is hell-bent on. Bleed India by thousand cuts. There are hundreds of other instances when Pakistan has been exposed. Islamabad keeps denying and the international community keeps dragging its feet. And for the same, it's been nearly three and a half years since Pakistan has been on the grey list of the Financial Action Task Force, a global terror financing watchdog. Kashmiris have time and again urged the global community to take cognizance of the human rights violations and address the expanding terror activities in the region. But the community is yet to make any tangible effort to come to the rescue of the suppressed Kashmiris.